Welcome in Jamil Jaffer now for a national security perspective, founder and executive director of the National Security Institute. Jamil, it's good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Natasha. So reaction to the downing of the balloon seems to be mostly split along party lines. In your opinion, was there a safe way to shoot it down over the continental U.S.? Or, or did the cons outweigh the pros for the president and his advisors? Well, look, I mean, obviously, the president appears to have delegated the authority to the Department of Defense to make the call as to when to shoot the balloon down. Uh, one must ask the question whether there weren't locations across the United States where uh, there's plenty of open space where a shot could have been taken uh, without the balloon gathering as much intelligence as it did or being over U.S. territory for as long. So I think these are legitimate questions. I don't think it's just pure politics to ask the question, could they have taken the shot earlier or, or even, frankly, over Canada or when the balloon reappeared over U.S. airspace? Because remember, Natasha, the balloon was first detected over U.S. airspace over the Alaskan Aleutian Islands three days before it was announced to the public and three days before the president made the decision to actually shoot the balloon down. Are you convinced that the Pentagon actually was able to disable any intelligence gathering capability? And if so, are you even aware of, of what mechanism we would have to do that? Yeah, I don't know for sure whether they were able to disable the intelligence gathering mechanism ahead of time. You know, obviously, they could have tried to jam the signals coming off the balloon or, or the like. Um, and for all we know, the balloon maybe contained the information that it had and would have been retrieved later. The more likely scenario, however, is that whatever the Chinese were able to get off of it, they got off of it. Um, and now the question is, can we recover that intelligence equipment? Can we figure out how capable that balloon was? And can we figure out what specifically they were collecting on? There have been at least four incidents in the recent past of China entering U.S. airspace, uh, three of them under the Trump administration. Are there more of these types of trespasses that the public is unaware of? And why would the public be left in the dark about this? Well, you know, Natasha, the most interesting part about this story that there were additional balloons detected over the United States during the Trump administration, according to defense officials today, it appears the Trump administration was not aware of these, that they that we didn't even detect these balloons until after the fact. And then we learned that China spy balloons had been over the U.S. previously. It raises the question, of course, how many balloons had been over U.S. territory, how long before we detected them, and why only now are we learning and our senior officials learning that this has been going on for years. That's obviously a troubling part of the story and something that Congress is going to have to look closely into to better understand why we can detect them now and we couldn't detect them before. And does that, de does that describe a flaw in our own air defense systems? Uh, what kind of information is, is the biggest concern that these balloons may have been able to gather in, in their previous trips across the United States that apparently went undetected? Well, look, you know, Natasha, if you don't know that a balloon is overhead, you can't cover things up. So, you know, satellites are predictable. You can tell when satellites could be overhead. You can put things away. You can hide them. If you don't know a balloon is overhead, it's much harder to avoid uh, them being out in public and being able to be seen from above from the air. The second thing is being closer in, they get better visibility, uh, better resolution and the like, and be able to collect signals off of devices and equipment that we're using on the ground that satellites might not otherwise be able to get. And there's also been another confirmed sighting over Latin America right now, the most recent sighting over Colombia. Should the U.S. aid in downing that balloon or leave that to the other country's discretion? You know, as a general matter, if our allies call for our assistance, we certainly should provide it. Obviously, we have the capability to bring this type of balloon down. We did it very effectively, very efficiently with a single missile. So if our allies are asking us for that help, we should certainly provide it. And obviously, any collection in the in the northern hemisphere as well as down the south um, in the Americas is obviously troubling for the United States. Um, and it's something that we should raise both with the Chinese, with the host nation, and see if they need our assistance. All right. Always appreciate your time, Jamil Jaffer. Thank you so much. Thanks, Natasha.